Hey you guys, it's Cammie and Barbara Joy with Coast DIY Bar and I thought I would jump on real quick and do two things today. So we have been requested to make our kitchen sign uh, with the um, towel look that, that we use in our picture. Uh, we've had a couple folks that have really wanted to replicate that and don't know how. So I'm gonna make remake the kitchen sign uh, live so you know how to do that. Um, and then we only had this one, so I will make more tonight. So if you buy them or want to buy them, just know that I'll replenish. Um, so I'm gonna make that. And then at the very end of the live, we're gonna talk about the new shark pour. Okay, but we'll do that in a second. So I wanna walk you through, I'm just gonna make the sign with you, kinda walk you through some of the techniques we use. Um, and answer any questions that you've got. So when you first get your sign from us, we have taped down with paint tape any of the words or uh, images that are on there. So I want you to be careful because they're delicate. Hey, Marissa. And Barbara Joyce packing boxes, if you hear her. We are organizing yet again <laughs> in the shop. We're gonna buy some new shelving because our kit making supplies have run rampant. Yes. And um, they're killing us. Small. They're killing us. And I'm generally, hey Tracy, I'm generally the um, creative mind if you've been in, you know, the crazies because of me. So when I'm to the point where I'm like, we gotta clean this up, it's really bad. Uh, plus, we want, we're starting to have folks in the shop a little bit more, and I think we need to make a little bit more room. Uh, what I'm doing is sometimes when you get a piece out of the laser, I haven't popped all of the things out. If you need to, just pop it out. If for any reason it feels like it's attached at any point, just be careful with it because it could be, and you should be able to pop it out. There we go. Yeah, it was a little piece and it pulled up a little bit. So I'm just gonna, there we go. So no damage on the front. Uh, I've got a little heart on this one. And then the word love. So like I said, we're doing, if you're just joining, I'm doing the new, well, it's not new, but I'm doing the kitchen sign. We've had some requests to have a video for how to make the, um, I'm gonna need tape. Um, how to make the kitchen towel look on the sample that I posted. And so I wanted to show you guys how to do it. And then we'll talk through a couple other things. So this sign has both 3D pieces as well as etching. And you notice that it's got significant burn marking around the etching. I like that. If you don't though, you need your trusty baby wipes because that's like the crafter's best friend, but I'll show you on this center one. If you just kind of come in gently with a baby wipe, don't, you don't want to soak the wood. That's really not the point, but the burn will come off a little bit, even though it looks a little wet, it is pulling the burn. So you can just quickly wipe over it and pull off the excess. The reason that I burned these in was because they're so small and delicate, but I like the font. And if you do them too small, they're gonna, um... all I hear is you. <laughs> Can you hear Barb or is it just me? Somebody tell me. Um, <laughs> she's tiptoeing away now. Uh, okay, so I pulled all the words off. I've got the tape off and then I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do it just like I did this sample. So baby wipe, baby wipe and paint. You can do stain, that works too. So this color is Dove White and I desperately, <laughs> she heard a sigh. <laughs> um, it desperately needs the top to be cleaned out. Um, oh, hang on, me. Some of our paint's been sitting a while. There we go. So I just put my fingers, I put a little bit on the um, baby wipe 
and I go super fast with the grain of the wood until the paint runs out. And then I do it again. Um, the only risk here is that it could be too light. You can put layers, but if you stay light with the paint, don't go too heavy so that it doesn't get in the grooves of the words that were etched. You can keep going. <laughs> She's sat and, okay. Thank you, Marissa. Marissa says she can still hear me fine, so that's good. Yeah. Yeah, we're desperately just trying to get our mess organized. You guys have been in here, you know. There's mess everywhere. So, did anybody just learn, like I did last night, that there's a hurricane coming? I've been so busy, I haven't watched the news. Richard Hayes! Oh my gosh, I went to high school with Richard. Hey. Um, so, I'm putting a second coat on, because I like it a little bit lighter. And notice I'm moving super fast. Because I don't want to have edges. Now, you can have a risk with the uh, baby wipes when you have this etched wood that the fibers of the baby wipes get caught. It's okay. Just let it dry. Then you can pull them out or sand them off. But don't try to get it while it's wet. Okay. All right. I'm going to stop there. But see how it's just a simple, you can see the grain with just a simple white coating. And then I'm gonna dry it. Okay. Now, when I did that, you can see some of the burn came out a little bit again, but I'm not too worried about that. Hey, Christy. Happy Saturday. I hope everybody is hurricane prepared. We're here till six if you need things to do. Um, I'm just wiping the edge down a little bit to show you some different things you can do when you're doing these kits. So if you don't like the edges to come over white, but also what happens when you do this with the baby wipe, it accidentally, but Nicely, it wipes a little bit off the front edge as well. So it gives you a little bit of antiquing without any hard work, which is nice. Okay, so background done. So now we're gonna do the, um, <laughs> don't kill me. Can you get me a nasty chip brush? Just a super gross already used. So I didn't prepare very well as usual. <laughs> okay, we'll wash these up. Uh, there's paint in them, I believe it in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll use it and then we'll clean up. We are getting clean. Of course there's a hurricane coming. Oh, you're getting your great, oh, she's get. Uh, Gina's getting her Great Dane puppy. We're gonna need pictures, Gina. And you can make a leash holder and we have you back. Thank you, girl. Nasty. Yeah. Nasty brush. <laughs> a barb. This is not that nasty. That one's kind of clean. What? Just a little bit. You're good. I like it. Oh. Okay. I'm trying to find the tape. So when you're doing kitchen towels, um, are they called flower sack towels? Are they called flower sack towels? She's gone. I lost her. I think they're called a flower sack. Um, I'm going to, just with the size of this tape, um, the way the flower sack is, it has a thick stripe in the middle and two thin ones on either side, right? Oh, that's better. Uh, Look at the difference. So yeah, nastier, this is used. Nastier brush. <laughs> Look at the difference. That's what I'm talking about. So if you watch some of my other trainings, I've told you when you get these brushes from us, uh, risk one of them, put the paint in it, let it dry in the brush because it gives you an easy way to make a chippy, chippy paint look. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm going to see if I can do this. So what I'm trying to do, I'm going to do two paint widths down the middle. hundred percent. I'm not going to get it straight, but the good thing about this uh, font is that even if it's off a of hair, 
I don't think you'll tell. So I'm gonna do two. Well, hang on, I'm, go I'm going backwards. So this is blocking off where I'm gonna paint. <laughs> that was not originally my plan, but we're, we're gonna go with it. And now I'm gonna mask off that space and pull the center tapes out. You need so little paint when you're doing this technique. Uh, this technique would be really cute. Uh, we did it on a, it was gonna be a virtual. I did it on a door hanger. Then we put a crab on it and we weren't feeling it too much. So we didn't offer it. We have to really love it for you guys to get it. Okay, close enough. So then I'm gonna take this one, I'm gonna have that thickness, and then I think I'm gonna go like a third of the width of the tape, just a tiny, tiny little stripe on the side with these. And these you want to be fairly even. If you are a precise crafter, you can uh, measure it. You guys know by now that I'm not. Okay, so I'm just doing, you don't have to do this, but it's driving me batty. Stick into the paper. Okay, so I'm gonna use black. Hey, Lauren, I'm gonna do black stripes and I'm gonna just put it on my paper. I'm trying to find a spot. Move my baby sharks. So if you're just tuning in, I've been requested to show you guys how we make our seasoned kitchen sign with the um, flower sack look. So that's what I'm doing now. Then after that, I'm gonna do our new love pour sharks. You get two. So you'll see those in a second. Okay, all you gotta do, you need so little paint. Now, the paint that I'm using is just acrylic paint, but it has a very strong, like, it's a matte paint. I like that look with this. All you're gonna do is dab your chip brush in it. And notice that I'm just beating the daylights out of it. And I'm checking it to make sure it's super light. So see how that looks? So light. This is so fast. Pay attention. Hey guys, we're live, say hey. <laughs> we have people coming in to do a workshop today. I'm excited. All right, so all I'm gonna do, that very thin little bit of paint, I'm just going up and down. I think I might've gotten a little excessive in my paint removal, but better to be light and put coats on than to have a big blob of paint. So I'm gonna do this again. And I'll probably do the same technique because I'm not, uh, I do not want it to be heavy. Sorry for the background noise, but we got peeps. We like it. We're excited. We have a birthday group in here today. Okay, so I'm going again. A little bit heavier this time, see that? And then same technique, just run it straight. I'm not pushing that hard. There we go, that's better. And you don't need much. Don't let the masking off of the area throw you off and make you feel like you need this to be so dark because you're gonna see it. Okay, that's it, I'll show you. So that's it before, and then all you're gonna do is pull the tape off. See how dark that is? And you didn't know that. It's we Often when you stencil with stencils and stuff, it's hard. Now, I put those a little farther away than I really wanted. Put that, paint, paint, just paint on a chippy brush is uh, what this is. So I'm a little farther out than I would want. I'd probably want it a little bit closer, but here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna dry it.
and I'm gonna bring them together by doing this. Watch me fix a mistake. I tried to do them all at the same time, and the width of this tape is what you're seeing. I don't really want that to be. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna mask these off again. And I'm gonna thicken these just a little bit so that the, the non-painted section gets a little bit thinner. So let's see if I can figure out how thick I did this. All right, so then I'm just gonna do it again. All you're gonna do up and down. There you go. I didn't even replenish the paint, if you noticed. Okay, that's better. There's just a certain look, and they're not exactly even, but I'm gonna live with it. But that's the technique. So, when you're doing it at home, oh, Kendra, girl, I miss you too. You need to get your booty in here. I haven't seen you. Okay, so I would bring this over a little bit. That'd be my advice when you're doing it next time. But I think from a distance, that looks like the flower sacks, right? So then all you're going to do to finish the sign, uh, what I did was I did these in black. I just liked the look of it. which you guys know how to do, but I'll just show you how I would do it. So I'll paint the word love. You don't need to watch me do the whole thing. We do like our speed videos. So I'm gonna paint love with the black, same black, but I'm gonna use a sponge because I think it's a little bit easier to do that. All I'm gonna do is dip it in, make sure that it's really smushed into my sponge really good so I don't get any blobs. And then all you've gotta do is tap it on the top. Super simple. And then you'll let them dry. And then to attach these, I, for these signs, I like white, Elmer's glue, like school glue, the stuff that's gonna um, not be near me, but just regular white glue that is uh, gonna dry clear because in case it oozes, they're so little. But what I want you to do is you're gonna put your paint on the back, you're gonna take a sponge or a paper towel and I want you to dab it around so it's less and it's not super thick and then put them down, okay? So that part is super simple. And then I'm gonna show you that you can use stain as well, because all I had read near me was the stain. And so this is scarlet stain. And I'm just gonna put a couple of drops and I'm gonna do the same dabbing technique as we did with the black. But see, stain is not fully opaque. So you see a little bit of the brown, not like it's covered, but it's see-through. So I kind of like that look. I love to paint with stain. So then all you're gonna do is I'll finish doing the words. And if I'm careful. And then these are $16. Uh, we've got a bunch of the eight inch signs that has textures, engraving, different things. They also, there's a $5 rack that you can buy to set them up on a shelf, on a tiered tray. Um, but that's how you do it. I'm gonna finish this like offline. You don't need to watch me do that. But super simple. So you can get a flower sack look and then you can do your letters on top. Okay, now we're moving into the shark pour. She'll come in in a minute. She, she has something special for you. I always have something special. <laughs> okay. Shark pour, you get, so it's the love pours, which means they're mini, they're, they're magnets. They come with magnets. It's a baby. Oops. I'm gonna wait for you, man. Sorry. 
Okay, wait, she's going to get you. She, she spent some time. Okay. It's a lot. So, shark pores, they come in these little kits. That's, it would be much funny if we were much more organized, which we're not. Yeah, well, you know. So, everything comes in the kit. You get magnets, you get silicone, you get two larger sharks, and then you get a baby shark, okay? Um, and you get a, a little heart because it's a love port, but I don't have one of those with me. So two, two this size. Oh, she was exploring, was expecting you to play baby shark. She was looking for Jaws all morning just to be able to play it. I don't know what she's doing now. So you, in this little container is silicone. Just for you. Lauren. <laughs> Lauren. <laughs> I'd like for everybody to write Lauren Kennedy today. This is her fault. Lauren. Lauren Kennedy. <laughs> Text Lauren. You're welcome. You're welcome, Lauren. <laughs> okay, so you're going to get, these are the colors in your shark kit. Purple, gray, and white. All right. So just like all the other kits, this is a swipe, okay, a shark swipe. Your son is singing. Yes, Tracy. All right, so we have... The three colors and then you're gonna put silicone in one or two of the colors it's the same technique but not everybody sees it so I'm gonna do it again you take your popsicle stick you have see the shiny there's silicone oil in here all I want you to do dip in swirl around and enough will stick to your popsicle stick and then you're gonna Stir it into your paint. I'm gonna do two on this one. You can do one color or two, or three, really. I don't, I don't think you need to do three. And keep your silicone, because you know if you come do other kits, you'll get more silicone, but you can also pick up uh, the bigger cups of paint, like this size, full is um, 250 pre-mixed. I know. Tracy, Lauren Kennedy, get her. It's her fault. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to use the lids for the sharks. <clears throat> and we're going to swipe. Uh, and actually, you get you get two of the same big size, but I grabbed the wrong size, so let's don't let that throw you. Okay, what you're going to do is you're just going to set it on a lid and it, you know what it might even be better to set it on a popsicle stick look at that that's a little bit easier or on a lid on a popsicle stick that's it lid on a popsicle stick and then you're going to pour paint uh on it in any way that you want make sure that you leave enough for the first one just only use half of it there's plenty for both of them And there's no right or wrong way to put this paint on. I'm just trying to make sure that I cover most of it. Gets a little messy. It's so delicious. <laughs> you cracked me up. <laughs> All right, and then I'm just gonna a lot of times when people do swipes, they put the swipe color just on one end or one edge. I find with these baby pores, it's just easier to put it wherever you want. <laughs> oh, Lauren's laughing at it. Okay, so when you swipe, you're gonna swipe like this, not like this, okay? Flat, not up. You're not scraping the paint off. You're just wiping right across the top. Uh, the fun part about this one is you've got two, so if you really blow one, you've got another one. 
but they're so simple. All you're gonna do is you're gonna swipe right across the top with the popsicle stick. You're breaking the tension of the paint. And you just swipe it a couple times. There you go. And then your cells will start to pop. It's fun to watch them. So that one's a heavy gray. So there's purple under that. I know that because I put it on there. There we go. I want to get some of the purple to pop through. And I just keep swiping until I like it. It's easy to grab these by the edge and just make sure they're not sticking. I'll swipe his little fin there. Okay, that's one. Okay, this one is not the... Will you get me the bigger size? Just so that they... I don't know oh. why I grabbed that one. So you don't want... Mama Shark. I knew it was coming. <laughs> <laughs> that actually would be cute if we had enough of the three sizes. Yes, I don't think we do, so... We've got two of the big ones. Uh, while she's waiting, I'm going to lift this shark right here, and I'm going to dip the little one. All I'm going to do is dip him a couple of times, and he's covered. That's all you got to do. And then... Here we go. Daddy shark. Do -do 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 -do. <sighs> Lauren, dang you. Just for you, Lauren. Okay. So now I'm going to do... Oh, hello. Carefully. I'm going to do gray on the bottom, and then I'm going to hit purple across the top because I didn't get as much purple in that last one. These are our new love pores. And then, how are you? You're allowed to come watch. Um, we have tables available Saturdays and Sundays from two till five or six, whatever. We're here till six. And I've got to get the tables out there to register, but if you are desperate to come in and craft, like these lovely ladies were, I want you to just message me. We've got uh, one table open tomorrow. Um, so we'll have those ready. Okay, last one. I still have paint left, so I didn't even use it all. Ready, I'm gonna just pop across this one. And they're light, you have to be careful. You don't want to scrape it off. Well, I mean, you're scraping the top part off, but not all the paint. And then, so, let's say we get this and I still get a lot of gray, and let's say I want more purple. See this purple right here that I just pulled off? I'm gonna scoop, and I'm gonna swipe right across the top with it. So let me show you this one. I'm gonna flip it up real quick. So he's super gray. This one's starting to pull more purple. Let me get his tail. And I'm just carefully swiping, breaking the tension between the paints. And then they just do their natural thing. And I'm going to flip this one up. A lot more purpley on that one. And that's it. You get two sharks and a baby. This baby needs to be dipped again up on the fin. So I'm going to take advantage of this big old blob of paint right here. And see, it looks weird, but it will dry uh, flat, even though you've dipped it. So it'll look just like these when you're done. They're so cute. Little magnets. Uh, I don't know about y'all, but I totally missed Shark Day this year because we didn't do it with Nauticus. So... I, I know it's August, so we missed Shark Day, which is what I was saving these for, and then it became August. So, Shark Day in August, bring them apart. That's it. That's all we got. So, we're here today till 6. We've got tons of things available if you need anything. Uh, and uh, we have, coming up, I'm not going to show you anything, but we are going to be doing a pumpkin palooza <laughs> this month. So you saw my pumpkin pour from last year. We're going to be doing pumpkin pours. We've got huge, chunky, two-foot standing pumpkins. So we have those. We've got lots of smaller pumpkins. Um, we're going to have fabric -y pumpkins. So it's going to be a pumpkin palooza with a smattering of crows because I just saw some crows that I think are really cute. So that's coming. Uh, so stay tuned. Everybody have a great Saturday. If you're in this area, batten down the hatches. If you don't know, there's a hurricane coming. 
I just learned about it last night. So be careful. All right, everybody. Take care. We'll talk to you soon. Bye. Maybe.